So what are your responsibilities? Well, that's a great question. One of the things that as the chamber president, and when you look at chambers, it is to be, and, and this is our motto, is to be the catalyst for positive growth. And, and so there's, there's, lots of, there's lots of answers to that question. But more importantly, I think, is to be a conduit for communications, uh, making sure that we're understanding what's going on in our community and, and also in our region. So that will be multiple uh, opportunities. It'll be business, uh, it'll be quality of life. There's many aspects, but more importantly, I think building a team, getting people educated, getting them on board, getting them uh, to see the vision uh, whatever decision we're trying to make is to see that vision so that we're all working together uh, as a group. But I think that's the main thing Chambers uh, do. We, we do some tourism publicity, certainly. Uh, we certainly do networking opportunities at the Chamber, but for the most part, it's more behind the scenes pulling people together and building a team. So what are the challenges you're focusing on right now? Wow, so many. Number one, I think, is certainly the legislature coming up and, and being able to pull the elected officials together along with our county judge, our mayors, uh, the leaders of our economic development, certainly school boards, certainly education. Is, is, it's going to be our number one legislative agenda item of funding uh, for our schools. So. On a lot of efforts, economic development, uh, Matagorda County sits today at 11.1% unemployment, uh, down from 17% unemployment. Uh, and so we're, we're bouncing certainly with job creation, uh, certainly environment. Uh, you know, we sit uh, on the Gulf Coast with two bays and estuary. Uh, so freshwater inflows, uh, water, a lot of our major topics are the same major topics statewide. Uh, we take it very, very personal in Matagorda County. Uh, one of the things that, of course, is health care. Uh, we're in a rural area that doesn't have access readily to some of the best and latest and newest health care. We've certainly got a population that our socioeconomic status is, is, is below uh, average. And so there, there are needs both from, and when I say health care, it's as much uh, meeting the needs of the mental side of healthcare as it is the physical. So th there's an awful lot. And it's, it is kind of funny when you say what's number one and you rattle off 10, but I don't know sometimes that we can just pick one. We're having to, we're having to work on many, many fronts to make sure that Matagorda County, our citizens uh, have a job, uh, that we have a good, clean place to live, and more importantly, that we've had a, a high quality of life. So if you could imagine a year from now, and you're partnering with East <clears throat> Texas Area Health Education Center yeah. to meet your challenges, and the partnerships are working well, like this Coastal Health Connection Partnership. Yes, ma'am. What does it look like to you, Mitch? Well. I'll tell you, I look into the future by looking into the past. About five or six years ago, several uh, leaders within Matagorda County realized that working together, having one common vision, uh, being a, a, on the team, whether you're the lead of the team today or, or you're a supporting member of the team, it is very, very important. We started that aspect of improving Matagorda County by coming together. We check the egos at the door, and that's, that's one of the, the keys. The, the goal, the vision is to see Matagorda better tomorrow than it was today. And so pulling together with the county judge, our, our mayors, uh, both mayors, uh, we've only got two municipalities in Matagorda County, commissioners, all of the elected officials, along with our state rep and state senator, and then the leaders, and then bring involving the church groups, the downtown merchants groups, the business community, and us really seriously pulling together and working with a vision. There's a lot of people work hard all over the state and nation every day. They go to work every day, but there's no vision. We've got to have that vision. You've got to have the roadmap. 
Now, sometimes we may not know we're going to take a state highway or a county road to get where we want to go. But it's so important that we know the end result. The end result for us uh, in, in, edu in, in uh, unemployment is reducing the unemployment rate from 11.1 .1 down to something that's a little more reasonable. Uh, hopefully zero, we probably won't make that. But the healthcare initiative is one more tool, one more chapter in what we're doing. Coming together, the goal is to provide health care to our neighbors, our friends, here locally. So when you, when you see that vision and you have smart people in your group that says, hey, I think if we all go this direction or we do this or we participate in this and, and we are all moving with one motion, we're, we're all coming together with that vision. That's the secret checking the ego at the door, not caring if I got it done, but that it got done. It's probably one of the number one things that's going to make a difference in many of our communities. It's certainly already done it here in Matagorda County. It's not, it, it doesn't care if it's, if it's education, making sure our kids are getting the best education they can, if it's health care, our kids being taken care of when, when, it, when it comes to health care and what does that mean. I don't care if it means job creation or protecting our environment. All of those are so very important and that's the way we move our, ourselves forward. And what will this do for you personally when this happens a year well, that, from now? You know, that's a, that's a very interesting question. Uh, and when you, and you, when you really stop and, and, and think about why we're here in Matagorda County, many of us. And so many of the times it's not for us personally. So many of the times it's that we can make a difference. So that, that's my answer. Uh, in the chamber business, we, we have a, a, a cute saying that we don't get the dollar paycheck, the big one, we get the emotional paycheck, the psychological paycheck that you're making a difference. We care about our kids and our future, or their future. Uh, some of us, are, our, our future is not as long as others. But when you, when you look at making the, a difference in a child's life, in your hometown, I, th I think that's the reason that many of us do it. There's, a lot of us don't do it for the paycheck, of course. And, and we, and we, but we do enjoy the win personally if we're advancing uh, our, our neighbors. And, and I think that's the answer uh, to a lot of the, the messages that we have or the direction that we're going. When you try to bring in industry that, that's going to come online five, 10, 15 years from now, uh, you're certainly not doing it to better your own self economically. You're doing it for our kids and our grandkids. That's the message that we have here in Matagorda, one voice, but it's our kids and our grandkids. Uh, that's the reason we're working as hard as we can for, for our future, for the future of Matagorda County. Wow, thank you, excellent.